Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be talking about carbocation rearrangement. So today we are going to have a look at carbocation rearrangement which we will be visiting some older reactions like SN1 and E1. In those reactions, we had a carbocation intermediate. And due to the carbocation intermediate, we can explore this rearrangement. This molecule, 2-methyl, 1-butanol, it protonates, which we get a water molecule with an ion on oxygen. And then we, the leaving group leaves and we get this molecule giving a carbocation on carbon number one. Now here, since we are going to be rearranging this carbocation, it can undergo this in both ways. One is hydride shift and the other is methanide shift, which depends on the molecule in use. Now, we're used to seeing hydrogen as a molecule being H+, plus, a proton, but here this is H-. minus, And so, the hydrogen here goes through a hydride shift, and we get a formal charge here as this part is neutralized. It's important to look at the transition state as well, because the transition state shows how it goes. So the hydrogen is weakly bonded to carbon 2 and carbon 1 as carbon 1 proceeds to neutralize getting this molecule. Now we can react with water and we get, if we go through SN1 then the water molecule coordinates with the carbocation getting this racemic mixture with a 1 to 1 ratio. Whereas if we were to eliminate we would get this racemic mixture with the Zaitsev product being the major product. Now let's look at the methanide shift, which is basically the same thing, but we are shifting an entire alkyl group. That's why it's also called an alkyl shift. So here we have the exact same molecule, except I changed the hydrogen to a uh, methyl group then we protonate we get this and it's pretty much the exact same thing and our final product will be the exact same thing except we add a methyl group so that's all there is to it thank you for watching please make sure to like the video and subscribe and share it to anyone who might need it and thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye